Hi there, my name is Elise Crabtree, founder of Wabi Sabi Botanicals, also known as the Skin Shaman or Skin Shamaness, uh, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, your skin's acid mantle. If you've heard talk about uh, different products, pH, or um, you know, skincare products being acidic or basic, and you're like, what? does my eighth grade chemistry class have to do with my skincare? Then that is the question we are gonna to answer today. We're gonna to talk about your skin's acid mantle, what the sort of natural healthy pH of your skin is, uh, a few symptoms that your pH has been thrown off balance and what you can do to repair it. So that's what we're gonna dive into and let's do it. So when I'm talking about your skin's acid mantle, what we are talking about is the very thin layer of sweat and sebum uh, on top of your skin. So sebum is the natural oil. It's like a very waxy oil that your skin produces. And then sweat is, um, you already know what sweat is. So when those two things combine, they make up your acid mantle and they have a very specific pH value. Uh, and when that pH is uh, in within its healthy range, your skin is very healthy. It tends to stay clear. It tends to not get like redness, irritation, dryness, that sort of thing. It's just healthy and in good shape. And when your pH is thrown out of whack by something, which we'll talk about, then you experience all kinds of uncomfortable symptoms with your skin um, that you might not necessarily attribute to your skin's pH. So what is the natural healthy pH of your skin or what is a healthy range? Normally our skin uh, lies within the range of four to 5.5 on the pH scale. And that means that our skin is naturally very acidic or at least the top layer of our skin is naturally very acidic. And so anything that is sort of on the other end of the spectrum or very alkaline or basic is gonna throw that off. If you don't know what a pH is in the first place, pH stands for potential hydrogen. It is like when you're in chemistry class in eighth grade and you have those little strips that you like dunk into water or you dunk into lemon juice and they turn different colors, um, that measures the pH of the substance. You can only measure the pH of a water-based solution. You can't like um, oils, pure oils like facial oils, um, do not have a pH. It's only water-based solutions. So the pH scale ranges from one to 14. The lower on the scale, the more acidic, and the higher on the scale, the more basic. So because our skin is between a four to a 5.5 is really the healthy range where you want your skin. That means um, being on the acidic side is good. Acids are good for our skin. Um, but anything that is super basic, super on the other side of the spectrum is going to sort of throw that out of whack and, um, and is gonna cause some uncomfortability. So how do you know if your skin's pH is off? Uh, a really easy way to tell if your skin's pH is off is if you are experiencing a lot of uh, dryness, redness and inflammation, um, just general irritation with your skin if you have like um, angry breakouts. Um, all of these things are signs that something is disrupting your skin's pH um, because when your skin is within its healthy range, it is not gonna do those things. It's not gonna act out like that. Typically what throws your skin's pH out of balance is gonna be the products that you're using. So if you're using products that are overly basic or alkaline, then you're gonna get those uncomfortable symptoms. Some of the most common products that do that are cleansers. Um, usually in like eight out of 10 cases, I would say, the culprit is your cleanser. You are you may be using a cleanser that is way too alkaline for your skin that sort of leaves your skin feeling very squeaky clean right after you use it. It might be foamy or bubbly, a very bubbly cleanser. Um, or maybe you're using bar soap on your skin. Um, and if you're doing that and you're experiencing those symptoms then guaranteed um, the two are correlated. So um, a few other things that can tend to cause um, disruption for your skin's pH is uh, over exfoliation. So really overdoing it with the acids or even really, really strong um, antioxidants like retinol. That's why you get some uncomfortable symptoms when you use like a prescription strength retinol. And 
The way that you can prevent this from happening is honestly sometimes to just take a break from the products that are causing you these uncomfortable symptoms. Sometimes it just means that you're overusing it, using it too often. So taking a break from it can um, sort of give your skin time to rebalance itself. Um, and also just using these uh, sort of more harsh or maybe not harsh, but intense treatments, um, sort of cutting back how often you use them to maybe once or two times a week and seeing how your skin reacts. Another way to prevent this from happening to your skin, especially if it has to do with your cleanser, is to switch to oil cleansing. Like I mentioned, oils don't have a pH uh, measurement, so they don't disrupt your skin's acid mantle. If anything, um, they actually just sort of remove any excess sebum that you might have um, and allow your skin's uh, acid mantle to be left in uh, greater balance. So oil cleansing is a really great option. Um, Wabi Sabi Botanicals does have an oil cleanser called The Giver, Ritual Cleanser and Makeup Dissolver. This is a really amazing option if you need to switch out your cleanser for something that won't disrupt your pH. And another thing that you can do is also um, sort Sort of take it easy on the acids, um, take it easy on the exfoliating. Sometimes uh, because acids um, tend to give us amazing results and exfoliating gives amazing results, sometimes we can overdo it and just sort of layer acid upon acid upon acid onto your skin and then it creates an imbalance. Even though our skin loves acids, it's just too much of a good thing. So another thing that you can do to sort of allow your skin to uh, be restored to balance is to cool it with the acids. Don't over exfoliate. Um, one other tip that I have for you is after cleansing, always whether you are using a sort of more conventional cleanser or you're using an oil cleanser, is to always use some sort of toner or mist after cleansing because this will restore um, your skin's pH. Toning, the word tone sort of in itself means to balance. So um, mist yourself with a hydrosol mist, like one of Wabi Sabi Botanicals mists, or you can use um, sort of a... Okay, so that is it. I hope you have learned something new. Um, I tried to make this as simple and easy to understand as possible. Uh, so there's no confusion on what your skin's acid mantle is, how you can keep the perfect pH or stay within the perfect pH range for your skin. And if you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them. Just leave them below and I will see you next time.